Hey Cakeinistas, it's Marisha. I have a very weird and fun video for you guys. You'll see why it's weird later on. I'm not going to give any spoilers away. In this video, I'm going to show y'all how I made a purple-lish velvet cake. This was a very interesting process. Uh, this is a little stressful. It was a little stressful just because you never know what you're gonna get out here on these cakery streets. You do one thing, you get another. So, this is a science experiment. This is a, this is a couture experimental completely. So, if you guys wanna rock with me on this one, go ahead and like the video. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification button, and uh, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bloom my cocoa powder in some hot coffee. Two super delicious and necessary things when making your velvet cake. We are bringing out all that delicious cocoa flavor and the color. I mean, you're really gonna be able to see that cocoa color, keep that in mind. So we're gonna set this aside while it blooms. You'll notice it thickens up just ever so slightly and it will be rich and it's messy, so please. I mean, unless you use a bigger cup, not just what you need, like, like how I like to do. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to add in my dry ingredients. I have some all-purpose flour, some granulated sugar, some baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. Oh, oh, something different. We're gonna whisk that up, give it a little baby sift, and then we are going to add in, I'm sorry, we're still baby sifting. Okay, now we're gonna put that off to the side and in another mixing bowl, we are going to add in some melted butter. We're gonna add in some whole eggs. See, this is when I put a glove on because I just hate getting my hands messy with egg. That just bothers me. Even if it's a cake that's just for myself, I just don't like it. I'm gonna whisk everything together just by hand, nothing crazy. Now is the time that I'm going to add in my gel dye. I am going to start off with this purple gel dye. This is by Wilton. Now I'm adding it into my liquid ingredients because obviously I don't wanna wait until I add the dry ingredients and the liquid together because then you could possibly over mix your batter and that will cause all kinds of issues. So I'm going to go ahead and add it in right with all of my liquid as well as my buttermilk and then my bloomed cocoa powder along with that coffee. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous because I just want a strong purple Barney inspired velvet cake. This is some vinegar. Vinegar is always in that velvet cake. If you notice that your velvet cake does not have vinegar in the recipe, please throw the recipe away. I'm gonna add the last few droplets of my vanilla extract. And I found some white gel dye. You know, the color did deepen a little bit. It's giving me eggplant, and I'm gonna try to bring it up. Just lift it a little bit with some white gel dye. It didn't lift at all. So I'm hoping that <laughs> the flour mixture with the sugar will maybe lift the color because once again, it's giving great. I'm going to add in my dry ingredients in increments, just one third at a time, and then give it a light whisk -sation. It doesn't get much darker than this. So, <laughs> there goes more white gel dye and now we are going to bake. And this is the color we get. It's black, mm, black, mm, da, da, da. no, it's literally like a dark, deep chocolate with hints of purple. The struggle bus, it paid us a couple visits. Matter of fact, it didn't pay us a visit. We got on today. We got on the bus today. Like we don't want the bus to come, but when it comes by and we get on, we always end up learning. This was definitely a learning experience. All right, we are starting once again. I have my dry ingredients, I have my wet ingredients. Now, I was thinking maybe, maybe this time 
I should cut back on that cocoa powder because honestly, yes. In recipes that I've used before, I would do about three tablespoons of cocoa powder. That was perfect. So could the cocoa powder be the culprit here? Just like I did before, blooming my cocoa powder in some hot coffee, some delicious hot coffee. By the way, this is Dunkin' Donuts French Vanilla. And I'm squeezing out the last bit. When I say the last bit, I was getting air mostly. So I did suck some batter into the little tube and look, okay? Some of y'all may be like, what in the world? But uh, hello, it's working. And I'm gonna throw this tube away once I'm done with this recipe. I just need, I'm desperate, okay? I'm desperate. Y'all don't know, it took a lot to make that velvet cake the first time around. Once again, gorgeous, I mean, galaxy, gemstone, I'm excited. Now let's add in the flour mixture and a little bit of that bloomed cocoa powder with the coffee mixture. I just wanna see if I can control the color here. So I added in a splash and yes, it brought down the hue just a touch, but I'm loving it, okay? So a little bit more of that flour mixture, a little bit more cocoa powder, not trying to overdo it, but we do want to be able to taste that cocoa. It gives it that richness. So now we're getting a little bit of a gray undertone, not as vibrant, okay? And I'm really scared. I'm mixing, and I'm, I'm like, ooh, like I'm nervous because I see brown, I see purple. I see gray, brown, I see sludge, not bad. So I panicked a little bit and I added in the rest of the liquid and the rest of the gel dye that I could squeeze out. You can see it's really, really purple. And it brought up the color a little bit. I'm excited, I'm hopeful. This may be it. Now you should never have to add that much gel dye. However, let's just see. Pouring it back into the cake pan, yes, it is giving eggplant, but it is a little bit brighter than the last batch. What's gonna happen? In the oven, 350 degrees preheated. This is giving me my favorite dinosaur, Barney. It's giving me Barney. It went from Barney to like emo Barney. Purple black. It's like a deep brown on top. You can see essence of purple. It looks black, y'all, and it's black, y'all. It's almost like grape, but it's really like black. Huh. Don't ask me how that happened. I think it's the blooming of the cocoa powder in the coffee because that really does bring out the color. Like when you're making a fudge frosting versus a regular chocolate frosting, you bloom the cocoa powder. That is the difference between that gorgeous blue velvet cake that I made and this super black purple velvet cake. You guys, I'm so mad that I'm just now realizing this because now I feel like I have to do it again. That struggle bus was like, run, run. I was like, here I come. <laughs> Coming. This is my bags. Walk into the struggle bus. Hey, open the door. It's let me on. Like we literally tried again. Use more ingredients just to get the same result. Black velvet. It's got notes of purple. It does. It's got hints of purple. If you smeared it up against a white piece of paper, oh, you're smearing purple. You're getting purple. It's almost like a surprise velvet cake. Should I call it a surprise velvet cake? Guess the color. Like, you'll look at your tongue and it'll be purple. Surprise! I'm pretty sure that I know that it was the cocoa powder, the blooming of the cocoa powder. Should I try again? I'm gonna leave that up to y'all because in the process of making this cake, I can't lie. I was not trying to try a third time. I just wasn't, I just didn't have it in me. I just didn't have it in me. I was like beat. I was beat, you guys. I'm refreshed, so I'm willing to try this again. I got this, I know I can do it. I'm just out of uh, gel dye. I use all the purple gel dye that I have in house. So I just have to go a little shopping, a little baby shopping, and then I can come back. If you wanna see that video, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Please leave a comment down below. If nothing else, it was interesting, kind of, right? Because science. You know what I did with this cake? So I actually turned one into a cartoon cake, which was weird, but hey. 
And then I actually turned the others into parfaits, deep velvet parfaits. I made a purple or a violet cream cheese frosting and I layered it and how about it sold out. You can always turn your mistakes into some money. Make the best of what it is. So once again, subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video.